lined up nice and neat. The green flag flies, and we're racing it. Road America. Ocean back from the pole, that big heavy muscle of that Chevy. Oh, Camaro. crash, big crash right in the middle of the straightaway. Back there, many cars involved. It's not over with yet. One of them's the Roush, 51 car. And that brings out full course caution before we even get to the start that, finish line. That's Jack Roush Jr. had to defend going into turn one to keep that third position. ST side by side with the Hondas. Wow, Corey Fergus in the red and white Civic oh, on the right, running side by side Trouble. with 93. And a problem for the number 140, Aston Martin. Aston Tim Fox turned. behind the wheel as the ST cars now come down into turn three. And then more problems on the racetrack. You see Dickie Regal in the mini. A problem looked like another brake issue, Dorsey. Yeah, that could have been going into the ABS and a lock brake system. And uh, then this is why the caution's out, guys. Oh, another wall one. line, wall line BMWs. That's a big hit on the wall there. Charles Putman behind the wheel. Oh, oh now could it be that's a brake issue good. or a BMW issue? Well, there. that that's di this is different. Yeah, that's the this cut is down left tire, rear. Look at, oh, the damage. Look, at the, look, look at the damage. damage. There, here we see Matt Plum. Wow, look and at this. Look at this. This is oh, an angry little battle. Do see Matt Plum goes to the outside of the Camaro. That's a power move right there with the Porsche around the outside of the Camaro on brake. And you see the brake lights flash as they pump that pedal. Look at Matt Bell. Again, this is what I'm talking about. When you go down that hill on the brake, the back ends get loose. You got to give yourself some room. Otherwise, you're going to have a big wreck. Let's go to ST. It's the 161, the Volkswagen of Nuremberg up front. Really no one around him right yeah. now. So Nathan having a good run. A lot of the cars pitted on that pit stop and things got mixed up on the restart. Billy Johnson into turn one. Wow, impressive. Lost, lost a little ground there because he dropped the wheels off. He's going to be under pressure down in turn three. Battles everywhere. ST and one of the ST competitors a little bit earlier. A very familiar name, especially to Formula One fans. Greg, oh, and a problem on the racetrack. Turn one on the outside. If he can keep that front wheel drive spinning, he might be able to get out of there. Nope. And that is your championship leader right there, the silver and blue Porsche, the number 83, David Embringham behind the wheel. He and John Ferrano sharing that car. Embringham 10th at the line last time by. That was tight oh. there with current. Oh. oh, trouble here, big time. Oh, he's on it. He's saving it. He's saving it. He go yeah, he keeps it up. Good. Good. Job. Beautiful job. Great job. He's going to need tires because I know those were flat spotted. Brian's fighting it big time. Just got out there in the dust. Oh, oh, and problems down at Canada Corner. A couple cars got together there in their gravel trap. That's going to do a full course for sure. Three cars, maybe? Gregory Lafuge in the middle of that in one of the Bidma World Oh, they got to move it. Well, one of them's not, though. One of, those two front-wheel drive cars got moving, but there's a rear drive BMW there. Matt Plum trying to hold off Bill Oberlin right behind him. It's Mustang, Porsche, BMW. Well, I saw Oberlin's crash. That was a big hit. Here's the double zero problem. Thinks he might get a tap. Yeah, there. she's going to get turned. By the 17. That's Kevin Farrar in the 17. And that's Mustang. just enough around the corner that the drivers cannot see it. Let's see if we can see. There it is, yep. Saw it go up in the air, and I didn't know what car it was because of the smoke, but I knew it was a big impact. Well, Mike Lamara watching on is his co-driver, Terry Borcheller. Second place right now. It's your first time racing here at Road America. Oh, we've seen that wiggling gonna... around. It doesn't take much. <laughs> He had to give that one up. Yeah, he did, because he would have touched that car and sent it for a... Oh, and there's a, a contact, uh, a It's going to get a bunch of cars. It's going to get a bunch of cars. Oh, this is ugly. Another big impact for the Focus. Those Multimatic boys have had a lot of big shots here this year. Full course caution, obviously. Oh. Green, green, green. Here we go. And it is a lot darker outside than our cameras make it look. You see the headlights down to turn one. One of the faster corners on the racetrack. Johnson, no, not this time. Let's go back to ST as well. You see the 171. Alex Altbird leading. Terry Borcheller trying to have a go at it. But you got Michael Valiente right there. You can't relax. You got to pay attention to the mirror, too. Look at, oh, look at that. Oh. Good save back there. Woo. Look at this ST battle, nose to tail. Wow, five o'clock. The will kill is up to second. Borchella drops back to fourth or fifth. Watch this left-hand corner. This will set up the run oh, for the straight. Oh, it's not right over yet. Both of these oh, teams have, have two wins on the season. Billy Johnson looks trying, trying. Oh, oh I think that defense. could have cooked it, though, yeah. Oh, and a slide. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Was that, that Matt Look at this. That was side-by-side side for third. I think Amp got it. Alex Altberg trying to hold on Michael Valiente. Valiente looking for another victory. Pressing hard, that Honda Civic really putting on a charge. It's Honda versus Volkswagen. Out of 14, onto the front straightaway. Valiente using every bit of racetrack he can. A little bit of a draft. 
Alex Altberg in the 171 for APR to the line. Whoa, oh. he was coming. Yeah, he was. He was coming. Good job, guys. Good job. Intense.